Um, as a guide on the side, we always talk about being the teacher that's the guide on the side, but in the public school setting, that is just so hard when we're trying to teach large classes and don't really get to know our students. Here, I'm gonna get to know my students. I'm really gonna get to know where they're at, where they're coming from, and to challenge them at their level. Uh, in science, every student has an interactive science notebook. And in that interactive science notebook, they're going to um, have a variety of ways that they can process their knowledge. And one of the ways is through the use of art, drawing pictures, using color to make their connections. Um, and I'm excited to bring more art to the Willow Science Classroom. My classroom is going to be a place where students aren't just going to learn facts. They're going to learn how to use the facts. They're going to make sense of the facts. They're going to apply the facts. They're going to collaborate in teams. They're going to use creativity and imagination. And they're going to be learning all kinds of ways to communicate what they learn in real life scenarios. I'm going to make Willow different because I am personally going to make sure that every kid here is known, every kid has their own path, and every kid has all the support that they possibly need to, when they leave us, have the best chance at success, whether it's in high school, college, or career. What? Willow is a charter school because the charter school allows us to be creative, to be innovative, to not tailor to a system, but to tailor our approach to every single kid here at Willow. Why eighth grade at Willow? So many parents have asked us if we could add eighth grade. They have eighth graders who could really use the approach, the personal attention that Willow has, and so we've decided to add eighth grade. Why middle school? Because at middle school we have the chance to provide every child, to provide your child with the skills necessary to be successful in high school. So all doors are open to them. When they leave high school and they decide to go to a four-year college, to a community college, or directly into a career, they have the skills necessary to do that successfully. Um, I will make well a different by giving each kid an opportunity to, to dream and to expand on their life and education and for them to become successful. Middle school students lose interest. They get to the point where it's challenging and they need to have some way to make it exciting and they need to be able to have hands-on projects and hands-on learning and Willow has the opportunity to provide that for them. We can have their families involved, all of their cultural dynamics. We can have every aspect of their world involved in learning new things and moving forward in, ex in, in exciting ways. I find ways for students to access their education. I find the best ways based on their learning styles and abilities and involving their parents in that process gives me more access to resources for them. Uh, my job as special ed teacher here at Willow is to make connections with families and their students to find ways for them to access their education all the tools and strategies and resources that they need. I, I, I'm going to listen. <laughs> Listening to kids to understand where they're coming from and what they need is a really strong trust builder and they will thrive when they trust you and they know that they are respected. They're going to learn more that way. Here at Willow, my goal is to make kids feel cared for and help them feel comfortable in the classroom. If they feel safe, they're going to do great things in my class. And that's what makes me excited about teaching here at Willow. Yep. 
I think an advantage for the students to have these long blocks of time in our classroom is that they'll be able to get all their questions answered and they're going to be leading their education by figuring out what interests them. We're going to give them a project and they're really going to direct where it goes. Project-based learning is a dream come true. There's no more staying behind a composition book. Kids are making things happen right in front of them with the direction of their teachers. But basically their interests lead their education. And so some kids may be interested in documentaries, others may be interested in writing. And the great thing is we're catering to what their strengths are and what they want to know. So my mother is Hispanic and I grew up in Southern Colorado. So her family is Navajo and Spanish. Um, that's what constitutes the race there in Southern Colorado. The Spanish settlers and the Navajo Pueblo Ute Indians in that area. And so uh, that's, that's our lineage. And that's where I learned was my grandparents were native speakers. My mother was native until she started school and started you know, learning English. Um, and then I decided I didn't want to lose it because all of my cousins are losing the language, we're losing the culture. Um, you know, no one, no one is even speaking our Navajo tongue anymore. Like after my grandpa died, now no one's speaking it. And I don't want to lose that. I want, I want, you know, our family and our culture to remain strong. So that's the goal. That's my goal, and that's why I want kids to realize there is strength in their language and their culture. I want them to know, like, this is your asset. This is going to take you places. I mean, it's not going to hinder you from progression. So, Oh, I think any opportunity a kid has to embrace more than just one language is going to help them become a more multifaceted person. Uh, when they embrace their culture, another language, it just helps develop, further develop their sense of identity. And that's what our kids need. Our kids are missing out on that. So they need to understand that this is something that will take them far. Embracing themselves and who their true identity is and learning more about other cultures and languages. It just makes them uh, a stronger student, a stronger person. Uh, and it's exciting to develop in that sense. At Willow, we use uniforms because school isn't about what you have or what you have not. It's about who you are and who you will be. Uh, to me, being involved with Willow is about choosing fairness, choosing to be involved in fairness. Um, kids deserve that. They also deserve to have a system that is dedicated to them and not to just to present the uh, preservation of the system. Uh, I think the coolest thing about starting a new school is you have an opportunity to build something from the ground up. So it's an opportunity to make something really great from the beginning and create good opportunities for kids. School. I mean, I think kids influence everything. They are the basis for like why we're here and why we do what we do. So, so every decision is based and premised on like the fact that we're here for kids. So in every possible way, they influence everything that we do. I think the great thing about clubs at Willow and the fact that Willow is so new is that we have an opportunity to create whatever clubs kids and students and families and parents are interested in um, and use whatever basis of knowledge our teachers have and our community members and other people who want to be a part of Willow. Um, one of the reasons I was excited about coming to Willow is that the student experience is so different than what you might find at either a traditional district school or any number of like large charter districts. A lot of times schools create environments that are based on like how we can best run things efficiently, how teachers and administrators needs can be met. Willow was completely different. It was all about how, how students and families and communities needs could be met. For me, it is very 
important that we greet every student, every parent as they walk in a school to make them feel comfortable. And I will tell them, hi, buddy, how is your morning going? Welcome to Willow School. If there's anything you need help on, make sure you come to the office or ask an adult at Willow. My, my biggest thing is making sure that the students feel comfortable and that they want to come to school. As the school secretary at Willow School, it's very important that we greet every student, every parent, so they could feel comfortable at school and they would want to come back every day with a happy smile. Como secretaria de Willow School, es bien importante de todas las mañanas saludar a los estudiantes con una sonrisa y a los padres y hacerlos sentirse cómodos cada mañana. The idea of having a program that embraces cultures, um, that is aware of every single student individuality, makes me feel comfortable in this school and makes me be happy and welcome in every single um, corner of this building. That is why I'm in Willow. La idea de tener un proyecto que no solamente está al tanto de diferentes culturas, sino que realmente siente que esas culturas son diferencias individuales y siente que esas diferencias individuales hacen un lugar más fructífero y más enriquecedor para cada uno. Eso es lo que me hizo querer trabajar en Guido. Um, theater can help in different ways, not only um, specifically in language acquisition, but as a development of uh, personal awareness, of a uh, development of knowing yourself from uh, different perspectives. So if you talk specifically about language acquisition, you have um, so many different skills. For example, when you um, act, you repeat a script. And uh, as long uh, as much as you repeat it, you are performing different things. Intonation, um, fluidity, um, you are learning new vocabulary, um, you are telling things in a way that, that are believable, and you want to convince people about what you are telling. So that's only talking about speaking part, but there is a huge other area that is um, very close to uh, language acquisition as well, and it is when we talk about culture. And when you do theater, you have to work in a team. And when you work in a team, you have to be really aware of the rest of people, to embrace culture, to embrace every single person um, individuality. And that's how you, if you transfer that into language, language acquisition, we learn how every single person of the team is important for what this person brings to the table. My that was goodness. lovely. Can we have it a little bit shorter? Can you just try and take one or two of the key ideas in a few sentences? Probably without that first part, right? Uh, whatever you, part you think is most know. important. I, I like how you say that everyone feels important and connected and mm -hmm. people they're are all working They're all an important on, part of the team. They're in a take, in a take, I'm sorry. Uh, people are working on the way they say the words and, and giving those emphasis, but I also loved I loved how you said that the theater projects that we do together make us into a team, which is, that's really great. So if you could again talk, 
The question is, uh, how do you use theater to aid language acquisition? Keeping out of seat. Joel, you're here. Hi. Is it that late already? It's two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Time's flying. So could you just talk a little bit about how theater is used in your classroom to help kids? To learn Spanish, we need a team. And for doing the theater, we need a team. Then, we will have those components in my class to work as a team. Every single person has something to offer, but every single person has something to take as well. That's how teams work. Para aprender español, necesitamos trabajar como equipo. Pero para hacer teatro también necesitamos trabajar como equipo. En mi clase vamos a trabajar como equipo para aprender español en el sentido de que cada persona tiene algo que ofrecer, pero a la vez tiene algo que recibir, porque todos tenemos que algo que ofrecer y algo que recibir. There is no perfection in language, and we learn every single day. Even High achievers academics, they keep going, learning and learning language. So I can ask this question, why English speakers need to keep studying English? It's the same, right? You need to be better at what you already know. Pues no hay perfección en hablar un idioma. Un idioma se aprende día a día y es un aprendizaje de toda la vida. Pues yo misma podría responderte, ¿por qué los grandes académicos todavía siguen estudiando un idioma? Pues porque siempre necesitamos aprender más. Y es lo mismo. ¿Y por qué alguien que habla inglés necesita todavía estudiar inglés? Porque necesita mejorar su inglés. Y es lo mismo con español. Estudiamos cada día más para ser mejores en nuestro español. Okay, so my question is very simply, uh, what's the value of anybody learning a second language? Hmm. There are many values in, in learning a second language. And the first one would be that your brain is connected in a different way. You make more uh, cell connections within your brain when you learn a second language. That's why people say, say learning a second language is very good for Alzheimer. Do you remember that? Ah. And the second reason is that when you learn a new language, you learn about a new culture. To learn a new culture will help you to be aware of other people. That makes you grow as a person. That makes you be a more valuable person. And you can connect with more people in an authentic way. Hay muchas perspectivas de las cuales podemos hablar cuando aprendemos una segunda lengua. Primero, podemos hablar desde una perspectiva biológica. Tu cerebro se conecta de una diferente manera y hay más conexiones neuronales en él. Segundo, cuando aprendes una segunda lengua, aprendes también una segunda cultura. Y eso hace que entiendas mejor a los demás, lo que te hace sentir una persona con más valor y una persona capaz de poder comunicarse con más personas. Por eso es importante aprender otros idiomas. My classrooms are going to be a positive environment built on relationships, learning how to apply math in the real world, um, using math in situational circumstances where students can really learn what they're doing in, um, every day outside of the class. All right. Hi, I'm Joelle. I'm the math teacher at Willow, but I teach more than math. I teach leadership here. I'm going to teach kids how to shake hands, how to have relationships in and out of the classroom, and how to be great community members. Can't wait to see you next year. But I was working with a first grader, and uh, he was going through some tough times, and the teachers didn't really exactly know what was going on in his home. 
And one day, I happened to walk by the, the cafeteria and this child was hiding under the table and wouldn't talk to anyone. The teachers were like, you know, you gotta come out of there, you gotta come eat your lunch, um, you know, and just try to engage him, you know, however they knew they, you know, they could. And he was not making eye contact, he wasn't talking to anyone, he didn't want to do anything. Um, and then I just happened to walk by. Now, that's the great thing about being, in, you know, on school is that you get to be in the middle of the action. Um, and I walked by and, and I saw him and he looked at me and so I got down and I said, um, do you want to go to my room? You know, it sounds like you're having a really hard time. You want to go to my room and talk? And immediately he got out and he walked with me down the hall. And before we could even get to the end of the hallway, he was already smiling. And he was just, you know, he was just looking for a safe place. He just, you know, he was going through a hard time. He just found out um, that his mom had cancer. And that morning was the first time that he saw hair falling um, onto her sweater and just realized, oh my God, my mom's real sick. And so he was really terrified that day. And that's why he was hiding under the desk. You know, but a lot of times that's looked at as misbehavior or why are you down there? What are you doing down there? Um, and so the minute I could walk up to him and he knew me as a safe person because we had been meeting every week. Um, he just walked with me down the hall and he was smiling by the time we got there. So. so the way that I envision it is um, I reach through the heart to get to the brain. That's kind of my philosophy of working with kids. I mean, we can teach and teach and teach and, you know, even teach different skills. But unless there's a heart to heart connection, um, it doesn't go anywhere. That's kind of how I envision myself working with kids and families. Willow has really something special to offer the community. We've talked to parents and students and have heard from them that they want a school where kids feel safe, where they have a fresh cooked meal to eat every day, and where the education is really centered around them. So that is what Willow offers to this community. Willow como escuela tiene algo muy especial para ofrecer a la comunidad. Hemos hablado con los padres y estudiantes y nos han dicho que quieren una escuela donde sus estudiantes se sienten seguros, donde tienen comida fresca y deliciosa para comer todos los días y donde la educación es basada en la realidad de, de los estudiantes. Entonces, eso es el plan que tiene Willow que ofrecer a la comunidad. Hola, soy Andrea. Como maestra de inglés, yo sé que cada estudiante merece sus opciones educativas y por eso te invito a conocernos aquí en la Escuela Pública de Willow. Hi, I'm Andrea. As an English teacher, I understand every student should have educational options. And because of that, I invite you, come get to know us here at Willow Public School.